if you're ready, we'll go. We'll maneuver. Ready for the maneuver, and secondary actuator check is not required. Copy. Okay, today we have the X350 by Wakira. Nice, very nice. Has um, legs, propeller heads, propellers, and some screws. We don't need a transmitter because we have a Wakira Evo 7. 10 actually. Oh, it's a runners. And a battery. We have an adapter for it, so it's not an issue. We had received quite a few questions with regards to whether you could use your own transmitter or receiver. So for this episode, we will be installing a receiver, plus a few ideas on what can be included in the future. Hey, just nice. We have a tap for that. So, if you want to get the 220 energy, you should do it. So, the plan is to add a receiver, a video transmitter. And an OSD, which probably will be a NCP, and this will be added after a test that there's no interference with the GPS uh, step by step. So today we have the RX one zero zero two. So we need to add that in there. So let's do it. Where it is going, right? And all the wires are all bundled in there, as you can see. Okay, Wakira well, gives you three sets. Take the smallest one. You're gonna need to take a one screw, two screw, three screw, and cloth screw. You do it for all corners. Hidden away is one screw. This one is screw. It's set. So four screws on each corner and one screw on the battery bay. So of seventeen screws to open up. Control board FCS three fifty. That's where the receiver has to go to, and let's look at the CESC. You 
have you noticed that the green, yellow, red wire is arranged accordingly to give you the clockwise and anti-clockwise rotation of the motors just like any other ESA This came really nicely tied up, but you cannot really tell which of those uh, wires go to the different channels. Elevator. Elevron. Trailer. So the next thing we'll do is to route the receiver antenna outside. Yes, and I'm just gonna stick this in right here. 